The third cut is called a re-leadering cut because it removes the portion of a lead branch above a lateral, causing the lateral to become the new leader. To make this cut, place your shears no more than one eighth to one quarter of an inch above the joint where the main branch meets the lateral. Now hold your shears at an angle that's halfway between straight across the main branch and the slope of the lateral, right in between. That's the cut. But be careful. The lateral branch must be at least one third the diameter of the branch to which it's attached, or it won't be strong enough to become the new leader. Plants respond to re-leadering cuts by channeling energy to the lateral, making it grow longer and stronger. Again, this response helps to explain when to use this cut. Re-leadering cuts reduce the height and the width of trees and shrubs. They also slow the growth of a plant, which helps to keep a plant small. However, because the lateral branches remain, re-leadering cuts alone may not reduce the density of a tree or shrub. <laughs>